Algiers Arabic, al al French, al al -e, is the capital and largest city of Algeria. In 2011, the city's population was estimated to be around 3,500,000. An estimate puts the population of the larger metropolitan city to be around 5 million. Algiers is located on the Mediterranean Sea and in the north-central portion of Algeria, sometimes nicknamed El Bedia Albjit or alternatively Alger La Blanche. Algiers the White, for the glistening white of its buildings is seen rising up from the sea. Algiers is situated on the west side of a bay of the Mediterranean Sea. The modern part of the city is built on the level ground by the seashore. The old part, the ancient city of the days, climbs the steep hill behind the modern town and is crowned by the Kasbah or Citadel, 122 meters (400 feet) above the sea. The Kasbah and the two keys form a triangle. Etymology The city name is derived via French and Catalan Alger from the Arabic name Aljzer al jazair which translates as the islands, referring to the four islands which used to lie off the city's coast until becoming part of the mainland in 1525. al jazair is itself a truncated form of the city's older name Jazer Bani Mazgant Jazer Bani Mazgana, the islands of the sons of Mazgana. Used by early medieval geographers such as Al Adrisi and Yaqat al Hamawi. History A Phoenician commercial outpost called Icosum, which later developed into a small Roman town called Icosium, existed on what is now the marine quarter of the city. The Rue de la Marine follows the lines of what used to be a Roman street. Roman cemeteries existed near Bab el Ued and Bab Azun. The city was given Latin rites by Emperor Vespasian. The bishops of Icosium are mentioned as late as the 5th century. The present day city was founded in 944 by Baloine ibn Ziri, the founder of the Berber Zurid Sanaja dynasty. He had earlier 935 built his own house and a Sanaja center at Ashir, just south of Algiers. Although his Zurid dynasty was overthrown by Roger II of Sicily in 1148, the Zurids had already lost control of Algiers to their cousins the Hamadids in 1014. The city was wrested from the Hamadids by the Almohads in 1159, and in the 13th century came under the dominion of the Zeonid sultans of Tlemcen. Nominally part of the Sultanate of Tlemcen, Algiers had a large measure of independence under emirs of its own due to Oran being the chief seaport of the Zeanids. The Peñón of Algiers, an islet in front of Algiers harbour had been occupied by the Spaniards as early as 1302. Thereafter, a considerable amount of trade began to flow between Algiers and Spain. However, Algiers continued to be of comparatively little importance until after the expulsion of the Moors from Spain, many of whom sought asylum in the city. In 1510, following their occupation of Oran and other towns on the coast of Africa, the Spaniards fortified the islet of Peñón and imposed a levy intended to suppress corsair activity. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ottoman rule. In 1516, the Emir of Algiers, Selim B. Tumi, invited the corsair brothers Aruj and Haradine Barbarossa to expel the Spaniards. Aruj came to Algiers, ordered the assassination of Selim, and seized the town and ousted the Spanish in the capture of Algiers 1516. Haradin, succeeding Aruj after the latter was killed in battle against the Spaniards in the fall of Tlemcen 1517, was the founder of the Pashalik, which subsequently became the Beylik, of Algeria. Barbarossa lost Algiers in 1524 but regained it with the capture of Algiers 1529, and then formally invited the Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent to accept sovereignty over the territory and to annex Algiers to the Ottoman Empire. Algiers from this time became the chief seat of the Barbary pirates. In October 1541 in the Algiers expedition, the King of Spain and Holy Roman Emperor Charles V sought to capture the city, but a storm destroyed a great number of his ships, and his army of some 30,000, chiefly made up of Spaniards, was defeated by the Algerians under their pasha, Hassan. Formerly part of the Ottoman Empire but essentially free from Ottoman control, starting in the 16th century Algiers turned to piracy and ransoming. Due to its location on the periphery of both the Ottoman and European economic spheres, and depending for its existence on a Mediterranean that was increasingly controlled by European shipping, backed by European navies, piracy became the primary economic activity. 
Repeated attempts were made by various nations to subdue the pirates that disturbed shipping in the western Mediterranean and engaged in slave raids as far north as Iceland. The United States fought two wars the First and Second Barbary Wars over Algiers' attacks on shipping. Among the notable people held for ransom was the future Spanish novelist Miguel de Cervantes, who was captive in Algiers almost five years, and who wrote two plays set in Algiers of the period. The primary source for knowledge of Algiers of this period, since there are no contemporary local sources, is the Topographia e Historia General de Argel 1612, but written earlier, published by Diego de Aedo, but whose authorship is disputed. This work describes in detail the city, the behavior of its inhabitants, and its military defenses, with the unsuccessful hope of facilitating an attack by Spain so as to end the piracy. A significant number of renegades lived in Algiers at the time, Christians converted voluntarily to Islam, many fleeing the law or other problems at home. Once converted to Islam, they were safe in Algiers. Many occupied positions of authority, such as Samson Rowley, an Englishman who became treasurer of Algiers. The city under Ottoman control was enclosed by a wall on all sides, including along the seafront. In this wall, five gates allowed access to the city, with five roads from each gate dividing the city and meeting in front of the Quechua Mosque. In 1556, a citadel was constructed at the highest point in the wall. A major road running north to south divided the city in two, the upper city Al -Gabal, or the mountain which consisted of about 50 small quarters of Andalusian, Jewish, Moorish and Kabyle communities, and the lower city Al -Wada, or the plains which was the administrative, military and commercial center of the city, mostly inhabited by Turkish dignitaries and other upper-class families. In August 1816, the city was bombarded by a British squadron under Lord Exmouth a descendant of Thomas Pellew, taken in an Algerian slave raid in 1715, assisted by Dutch men-of-war, destroying the Corsair fleet harbored in Algiers. <inaudible> French rule The history of Algiers from 1830 to 1962 is bound to the larger history of Algeria and its relationship to France. On July 4, 1830, under the pretext of an affront to the French consul, whom the day had hit with a fly whisk when the consul said the French government was not prepared to pay its large outstanding debts to two Algerian merchants. A French army under General de Bermont attacked the city in the 1830 invasion of Algiers. The city capitulated the following day. Algiers became the capital of French Algeria. Many Europeans settled in Algiers, and by the early 20th century they formed a majority of the city's population. During the 1930s, the architect Le Corbusier drew up plans for a complete redesign of the colonial city. Le Corbusier was highly critical of the urban style of Algiers, describing the European district as "...nothing but crumbling walls and devastated nature, the whole a sullied blot." He also criticized the difference in living standards he perceived between the European and African residents of the city, describing a situation in which "...the civilized live like rats in holes." whereas, the barbarians live in solitude, in well-being. However, these plans were ultimately ignored by the French administration. During World War II, Algiers was the first city to be seized from the Germans by the Allies during Operation Torch. In 1962, after a bloody independence struggle in which hundreds of thousands estimates range between 350,000 and 1,500,000 died mostly Algerians but also French and Pieds Noirs during fighting between the French army and the Algerian Front de Libération Nationale, Algeria gained its independence, with Algiers as its capital. Since then, despite losing its entire Pied Noir population, the city has expanded massively. It now has about 5 million inhabitants, or 10% of Algeria's population—and its suburbs now cover most of the surrounding Midija plain. <inaudible> <inaudible> Algerian War Algiers also played a pivotal role in the Algerian War 1954 particularly during the Battle of Algiers when the 10th Parachute Division of the French Army, starting on January 7, 1957, and on the orders of the French Minister of Justice François Mitterrand who authorized any means to eliminate the insurrectionists, led attacks against the Algerian fighters for independence. 
Algiers remains marked by this battle, which was characterized by merciless fighting between FLN forces which carried out a guerrilla campaign against the French military and police and pro-French Algerian soldiers, and the French army which responded with a bloody repression, torture and blanket terrorism against the native population. The demonstrations of May 13 during the crisis of 1958 provoked the fall of the Fourth Republic in France, as well as the return of General de Gaulle to power. Topic. Independence Algeria achieved independence on July 5, 1962. Run by the FLN that had secured independence, Algiers became a member of non-aligned movement during the Cold War. In October 1988, one year before the fall of the Berlin Wall, Algiers was the site of demonstrations demanding the end of the single-party system and the creation of a real democracy baptized the Spring of Algier. The demonstrators were repressed by the authorities more than 300 dead, but the movement constituted a turning point in the political history of modern Algeria. In 1989, a new constitution was adopted that put an end to the one-party rule and saw the creation of more than 50 political parties, as well as official freedom of the press. Topic. Crisis of the 1990s The city became the theater of many political demonstrations of all descriptions until 1993. In 1991, a political entity dominated by religious conservatives called the Islamic Salvation Front engaged in a political test of wills with the authorities. In the 1992 elections for the Algerian National Assembly, the Islamists garnered a large amount of support in the first round, helped by a massive abstention from disillusioned Algerian voters by the turn of events. Fearing an eventual win by the Islamists, the army cancelled the election process, setting off a civil war between the state and armed religious conservatives which would last for a decade. On December 11, 2007, two car bombs exploded in Algiers. One bomb targeted two United Nations buildings and the other targeted a government building housing the Supreme Court. The death toll was at least 62, with over 200 injured in the attacks. However, only 26 remained hospitalized the following day. As of 2008, it is speculated that the attack was carried out by the Al Qaeda cell within the city. Indigenous terrorist groups have been actively operating in Algeria since around 2002. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography. Topic: <laughs> 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 Districts of Algiers. The Kasbah of Al Kasbah, the citadel, IER district of Algiers, called Al Jazer Al Marusa, well kept Algiers. It is founded on the ruins of old Icosium. It is a small city which, built on a hill, goes down towards the sea, divided in two: the high city and the low city. One finds there masonries and mosques of the 17th century. Quechua Mosque, built in 1794 by the Day Baba Hassan, flanked by two minarets. Mosque El Djedid, built in 1660 at the time of Turkish Regency, with its large finished ovoid cupola points some and its four cupolets. Mosque El Kebir, oldest of the mosques, it was built by Almoravid Yusuf ibn Takfin and rebuilt later in 1794. Mosque Ali Bechnan, Rais, 1623, Dar Aziza, Palad of Janina. In the Kasbah, there are also labyrinths of lanes and houses that are very picturesque, and if one gets lost there, it is enough to go down again towards the sea to reposition oneself. Bab el Ued, literally the river's gate, the popular district which extends from the Kasbah beyond the gate of the river. It is the capital's darling and best liked borough. Famous for its square with the three clocks and for its market triplet, it is also a district of workshops and manufacturing plants. Edge of Sea, from 1840, the architects Pierre Auguste Guillauchain and Charles Frederic Chasseriau designed new buildings apart from the Kasbah, town hall, law courts, buildings, theater, palace of the governor, and casino, to form an elegant walk bordered by arcades, which is today the Boulevard Che Guevara, formerly the Boulevard of the Republic. Cuba, will Daira of Hussein Day. Cuba is an old village which was absorbed by the expansion of the town of Algiers. A village, Cuba quickly developed under the French colonial era then continued growing due to formidable demographic expansion that Algiers saw after the independence of Algeria in 1962. It is today a district of Algiers which is largely made up of houses, villas and buildings not exceeding five stories. 
El Harak, a suburb of Algiers, is located about 10 kilometers (6 miles) to the east of the city. The communes of Hydra, Ben Aknoun, El Bir, and Bouzeria form what the inhabitants of Algiers call the Heights of Algiers. These communes shelter the majority of the foreign embassies of Algiers, of many ministries and university centres, which makes it one of the administrative and policy centres of the country. The Didouche Murad Street is located in the 3rd district of Algiers. It extends from the Grande Post Office to the heights of Algiers. It crosses in particular the Place Aden, the Faculty of Algiers, the Crowned Heart and the Park of Galan. It is bordered by smart stores and restaurants along most of its length. It is regarded as the heart of the capital. Topic: <inaudible> Climate. Algiers has a Mediterranean climate, Köppen climate classification CSA. Its proximity to the Mediterranean Sea aids in moderating the city's temperatures. As a result, Algiers usually does not see the extreme temperatures that are experienced in the adjacent interior deserts. Algiers on average receives roughly 600 mm of rain per year, the bulk of which is seen between October and April. The precipitation is very similar to coastal Mediterranean Spain as opposed to the interior North African arid climate. Snow is very rare. In 2012, the city received 10 cm in, its first snowfall in eight years. Government. See also, Algiers Politics and Administration FR and List of Mayors of Algiers Topic. Local architecture There are many public buildings of interest, including the whole Kasba Quarter, Martyrs Square Sahat ek Chohada Sat Alshda, the government offices formerly the British Consulate, the Grand New and Quechua mosques, the Roman Catholic Cathedral of Notre Dame de Frique, the Bardo Museum, a former Turkish mansion, the old Bibliothèque Nationale d'Alger, a Turkish palace built in 1799 to 1800, and the new National Library, built in a style reminiscent of the British Library. The main building in the Kasbah was begun in 1516 on the site of an older building and served as the Palace of the Days until the French conquest. A road has been cut through the center of the building, the mosque turned into barracks, and the hall of audience allowed to fall into ruin. There still remain a minaret and some marble arches and columns. Traces exist of the vaults in which were stored the treasures of the day. The Great Mosque, Jama el Kebir al Jam Alkbar, is the oldest mosque in Algiers. It was first built by Yusuf ibn Tashfin, but reconstructed many times. The pulpit bears an inscription showing that the building existed in 1097. The minaret was built by the Sultan of Tlemcen, in 1324. The interior of the mosque is square and is divided into aisles by columns joined by Moorish arches. The new mosque, Jama el Jedid al Jam al Jadid, dating from the 17th century, is in the form of a Greek cross, surmounted by a large white cupola, with four small cupolas at the corners. The minaret is 27 metres 89 feet high. The interior resembles that of the Grand Mosque. The Church of the Holy Trinity, built in 1870, stands at the southern end of the Rue de Sli near the site of the demolished Fort Bab Azun Bab Zone. The interior is richly decorated with various colored marbles. Many of these marbles contain memorial inscriptions relating to the British residents, voluntary and involuntary, of Algiers from the time of John Tipton, the first English consul, in 1580. NB some sources give 1585. One tablet records that in 1631 two Algerine pirate crews landed in Ireland, sacked Baltimore, and enslaved its inhabitants. The Quechua Mosque Jama Quechua Jam Katechot, at the foot of the Kasbah, was before independence in 1962 the Cathedral of St. Philippe, itself made in 1845 from a mosque dating from 1612. The principal entrance, reached by a flight of 23 steps, is ornamented with a portico supported by four black-veined marble columns. The roof of the nave is of Moorish plasterwork. It rests on a series of arcades supported by white marble columns. Several of these columns belong to the original mosque. In one of the chapels was a tomb containing the bones of San Geronimo. The building seems a curious blend of Moorish and Byzantine styles. Algiers possesses a college with schools of law, medicine, science and letters. The college buildings are large and handsome. 
The Bardo Museum in Tunisia holds some of the ancient sculptures and mosaics discovered in Algeria, together with medals and Algerian money. The port of Algiers is sheltered from all winds. There are two harbours, both artificial the Old or Northern Harbour and the Southern or Aga Harbour. The Northern Harbour covers an area of 95 hectares. 235 acres. An opening in the South Jetty affords an entrance into Aga Harbour, constructed in Aga Bay. Aga Harbour has also an independent entrance on its southern side. The inner harbour was begun in 1518 by Ker ad Din Barbarossa see history, below, who, to accommodated his pirate vessels, caused the island on which was Fort Pennon to be connected with the mainland by a mole. The lighthouse which occupies the site of Fort Pennon was built in 1544. Algiers was a walled city from the time of the days until the close of the 19th century. The French, after their occupation of the city 1830, built a rampart, parapet and ditch, with two terminal forts, Bab Azun Bab Zone to the south and Bab El Oued Ad to the north. The forts and part of the ramparts were demolished at the beginning of the 20th century, when a line of forts occupying the heights of Buzaria Buzrat at an elevation of 396 metres 1 feet above the sea took their place. Notre Dame de Freak, a church built 1858-1872 in a mixture of the Roman and Byzantine styles, is conspicuously situated overlooking the sea, on the shoulder of the Buzaria Hills, 3 kilometres 2 miles to the north of the city. Above the altar is a statue of the Virgin depicted as a black woman. The church also contains a solid silver statue of the Archangel Michael, belonging to the confraternity of Neapolitan fishermen. Villa Abed el Tif, former residence of the day, was used during the French period to accommodate French artists, chiefly painters, and winners of the Abed el Tif Prize, among whom Maurice Boydell, for a while of two years. Nowadays, Algerian artists are back in the villa's studios. Monuments Notre Dame de Freak, accessible by one cable car, is one of the city's most outstanding monuments, located in the district of Z. Walgara. The basilica was built around 1858. Monument des Martyrs Marquand -e Shahid, an iconic concrete monument commemorating the Algerian War for Independence. The monument was opened in 1982 on the 20th anniversary of Algeria's independence. It is fashioned in the shape of three standing palm leaves which shelter the eternal flame beneath. At the edge of each palm leaf stands a statue of a soldier, each representing a stage of Algeria's struggle. The El Jedid Mosque at the Place des Martyrs near the port. Place of the Emir Abdelkader, formerly Bugo, in memory of the famous Emir Abd el Kader, resistant during French conquest of Algeria. Grand Post Office 1910, by Voynet and Tondoir, construction of the Neo-Moorish type which is in full center town of Algiers. The Jardin DSI Garden of Test, El Hama, situated in the east of Algiers, it extends over 80 hectares 198 acres and contains exotic plants and gardens. It was created in 1832 by A. Hardy. Villa Abd el Hare, with the top of the Garden of Test, one of the old residences of the day, where until 1962, were placed the Artists' Prizes winner of Price Abd el Hare, and in particular Maurice Boydell and André Hamburg. Citadel. Riyadh el Feth Shopping Center and Art Gallery. Quechua Mosque This mosque became the St. Philippe Cathedral during colonization before becoming again a mosque. National Library, is in the district of El Hama and was built in the 1990s. The Great Mosque of Algiers at the Rue de la Marine. It is the oldest mosque of Algiers and was built during the reign of the Almoravid Sultan Yusuf ibn Tashfin. Le Bastion 23 Palais des Raïs, built in 1576 by De Ramdan Pacha and located in the lower Kasbah in the Bab el Oued neighborhood. Demographics. Algiers has a population of about 3,335,418 2012 estimate. The ethnic distribution is 53% from an Arabic speaking background, 44% from a Berber speaking background and 3% foreign born. 1940 to 300,000 people lived in Algiers. 1960 to 900,000 people lived in Algiers. 1963 to 600,000 people lived in Algiers. Economy 
Algiers is an important economic, commercial and financial centre, with in particular a stock exchange with a capitalisation of €60 million. Euros. The city has the highest cost of living of any city in North Africa, as well as the 50th highest worldwide. As of March 2007, having gained one position compared to the previous year, Mohamed Ben Ali El Abar, president of the Council of Administration of the Emirate Group Imar, presented five mega projects to Algerian President Abdelaziz Bouteflika during a ceremony which took place Saturday, July 15, within the Palace of the People of Algiers. These projects will transform the city of Algiers and its surroundings by equipping them with a retail area and restoration and leisure facilities. The first project will concentrate on the reorganization and the development of the infrastructures of the railway station, Aga, located in the downtown area. The ultramodern station intended to accommodate more than 80.000 passengers per day, will become a center of circulation in the heart of the grid system, surrounded by commercial offices and buildings and hotels intended for travelers in transit. A shopping center and three high-rise office buildings rising with the top of the commercial zone will accompany the project. The second project will not relate to the Bay of Algiers and aims to revitalize the seafront. The development of the 44 kilometers 27 miles seafront will include marinas, channels, luxury hotels, offices, apartments of great standing, luxury stores and leisure amenities. A crescent-shaped peninsula will be set up on the open sea. The project of the Bay of Algiers will also comprise six small islands, of which four of round form, connected to each other by bridges and marinas and will include tourist and residential complexes. The third project will relate to restructuring an area of Algiers, qualified by the originators of the project of City of Wellness. El Abar indicated to the journalists that the complex would be agreeable for all those which will want to combine tourism and well-being or tourism and relaxation. The complex will include a university, a research center and a medical center. It should also include a hospital complex, a care center, a hotel zone, an urban center and a thermal spa with villas and apartments. The university will include a medical school and a school for care male nurses which will be able to accommodate 500 students. The university campus will have the possibility of seeing setting up broad ranges of buildings of research laboratories and residences. Another project relates to technological implantation of a campus in Sidi Abdella, 25 kilometers, 16 miles southeast from Algiers. This 90 hectares, 222 acres site will include shopping centers, residential zones with high standard apartments and a golf course surrounded by villas and hotels. Two other residential zones, including 1.800 apartments and 40 high standard villas, will be built on the surrounding hills. The fifth project is that of the tourist complex Colonel Abbes, which will be located 25 kilometers 16 miles west from Algiers. This complex will include several retail zones, meeting places, and residential zones composed of apartments and villas with views of the sea. Currently there is another project under construction, by the name of Algiers Medina. The first step of the project is nearly complete. A Hewlett-Packard office for French-speaking countries in Africa is in Algiers. Topic. Tourist installations Some 20 kilometers 12 miles to the west of Algiers are such seaside resorts as Sidi Fred J, ex Sidi Farouche, Palm Beach, Daouda, Zeralda, and the Club of the Pines. Residents of state. There are tourist complexes, Algerian and other restaurants, souvenir shops, supervised beaches, and other amenities. The city is also equipped with important hotel complexes such as the Hotel Hilton, El Orassi or El Jazer. Algiers also has the first water park in the country. The tourism of Algiers is growing but is not as developed as that of the larger cities in Morocco or Tunisia. <laughs> <laughs> Education International schools for foreign residents include Lycée International Alexandre Dumas French School Roma Italian School of Algiers Russian Embassy School in Algiers El Kalimat School English Language School There was formerly the École Japonaise d'Alger Aruya Ri Ben Ren Shui Shao Aruya Nihonjin Gakko a school for Japanese children Topic Public Transport 
ETUSA Urban and Suburban Bus Transportation for Algiers operates bus service in Algiers and the surrounding suburbs. 54 lines are currently operating, with service from 5.30 am to 12.45 am. SNTF National Railroad Company operates commuter rail lines connecting the capital to the surrounding suburbs. Algiers Metro, opened November 1, 2011. Algiers Tramway, opened on May 8, 2011. Huari Boumedin Airport is located 20 kilometers 12 miles from the city. The airport serves domestics, many European cities, West Africa, the Middle East, Asia and North America. On July 5, 2006, a new international air terminal was opened for service. The terminal is managed by Aeroports de Paris.4 Urban Ropeways El Medania, Beloizdad Notre Dame de Freak, Beloine Memorial des Martyrs, Riyadh El Feth, Jardin DSA Palais de la Culture, Oudnis Topic. Province projects Several ongoing projects aim to solve Algiers' deficit and transportation problems. A tram connecting the downtown area to Durgana is expected to open by the end of 2010. Subway lines connecting to four a large Herrick Post Office L were expected in 2008. In addition to three regional express network RER lines, Algiers Aga Thenia, Algiers Aga Elifrun, Algiers Aga Zeralda. Three new cable cars, reconstruction of roads and restoration of the city station, which will accommodate the high-speed rail line connecting Anaba, Algiers and Oran, are also ongoing. Congestion control measures including new roundabouts and motorways are also being added to the city. New residential developments aim to solve Algiers' current housing shortage. Sports Algiers is the sporting centre of Algeria. The city has a number of professional clubs in the variety of sports, which have won national and international titles. Among the sports facilities within the city, there is an enormous sporting complex, complex of OCO, Mohamed Bodiaf. This includes the Stade 5 Gilet 1962 capacity 80, 000, a venue for athletics, an Olympic swimming pool, a multisports room the cupola, an 18-hole golf course, and several tennis courts. The following major sporting events have been held in Algiers not exhaustive list. Topic. Football clubs Major association football club based in Algiers include Topic. International relations Topic. Twin towns, sister cities Algiers is twinned with Topic. Cooperation agreements Algiers has cooperation agreements with Lisbon, Portugal Paris, France In addition, many of the wards and cities within Algiers maintain sister city relationships with other foreign cities. Topic. Films about Algiers Algiers, 1938, directed by John Cromwell the Battle of Algiers, 1966, directed by Gillo Pontecorvo. Taya Ya Didu, Alger Insulite, 1970, Mohamed Zanet. Bab El Oued City, 1994, directed by Mirzik Alouash. Viva Lalgeri, 2003, directed by Nadir Mokanesh, with Bayuna and Lubna Azabal. Bab El Web, 2004, directed by Mirzik Alouash, with Sami Nacheri, Julie Gayet, Fadal. Once Upon a Time in the Oued, 2005, directed by Jamel Bensala. Boar, White, Red, 2005, directed by Mahmoud Zemouri. Delice Paloma, 2007, directed by Nadir Mokanesh, with Bayuna and Nadia Casey. Abbott and Costello in the Foreign Legion, 1950, Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Topic. See also. Barbary Pirates Botanical Garden Hama List of Ottoman Governors of Algiers Topic. References
This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Algiers. Encyclopædia Britannica, 1 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 653-655. This article was originally based on a translation of the French Wikipedia's article of the same name. Topic Notes. Topic Bibliography. Nasra Ben Sedek, Chronique d'une cité antique, Dans Alger. Lumières sur la ville, Actes du colloque de la Pave 4 to 6 May 2001, Alger 2004, p. 29 to 34. Navbox with columns. Name equals capitals of Arab countries. Title equals capitals of Arab countries. State equals autocollapse. List class equals plain list. Col width equals 50%. Col style equals padding left 0. 3m. Call 1 header equals Africa Call 1 equals Call 2 header equals Asia Call 2 equals <laughs>